thing. Yep, nailed it. It's always a thing. It's always a thing. It's not just you. Oh, I still got the Disney tan going too, huh? That's yeah. terrible. It does look like it powder. Does, it does look. Yeah, is there powder in your house? That'd be awesome. You, you, no. you got the Caucasian skin that I have. That yeah, the sun sees us, and then everybody sees yeah. what we saw. Yeah, I get it. You look fantastic. You were great all weekend. Let's talk Thanks. about. Let's wrap up this Utah team as we move into the incredible NHL playoffs that have already started. The team, not that good, is what Nick just said about the Phoenix Coyotes. And there's not a lot of free agents in hockey, seemingly. Yeah. It doesn't really happen often. Trades take place, but free agents, guys sign seven-year deals, and then you don't hear anything about them until forever, pretty much. How do you make a yeah. team better quick? Is that possible for Ryan out there? And what are your thoughts on a team really, going to Utah? Really tough. Um, I would push back, though. I think they've got prospects. Uh, I would say... First two-thirds of the season, they were right there. They were borderline playoff team and and really ran out of gas. And uh, just recently, the head coach there said these, these conversations, which were bubbling underneath that maybe weren't public about the potential move to Utah, that that really turned the club upside down. Got that it. really was an impact on the ice, uh, confusion over about the future of the franchise. So, look, it, do it does take time. Uh, but I think there are four or five really good young players in the Coyotes lineup. And yeah, you got to add on. But you know, like your, your Pittsburgh Penguins and everything, like they're, they're up against it. It's hard. Once you, yes. once you've won and you've reached it, man, right? Then it's, it's really hard to, without a complete teardown. Okay. You know, to rebuild and win quickly. Yeah, and we trade a leader to another team who's now favored to win the whole thing in the Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we, that's great. Yeah, it's great. Good luck doing. <laughs> good luck finding another Gensel, Ryan Smith. Let's talk about the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, obviously, my big takeaway was that Winnipeg barn. Okay, that Winnipeg barn was phenomenal. The game was incredible across the board. NBA and NHL home teams, fourteen and zero. So I think fans showed up everywhere. But this one will be talked about for years. I think what they did up there. And I learned from a map during the break. Winnipeg is above like uh, North Dakota and Minnesota. Yep. Okay. Like at the border, it's right. Not too far. No. Not too far. Could we take them? Could we trade them for Detroit? Portland, I thought. Oh, what Portland, we're, sorry. We're Portland. giving up Portland. Well, Detroit, Port Detroit's too. on my mind because the draft. Portland. We yes. got Windsor, though, because Windsor's under Detroit. Correct. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. there's Winnipeg is close, though. Yeah. Okay. It is close, and it's much – I thought it was way lefter. But that particular barn was fantastic. Why do you think all the home teams had such success? And are we going to see this all the way through, you think, Steve? Yeah, I'm not sure. that. So, that's a real rarity, right? The NBA forever, I believe, is the biggest home advantage, whether it's the officiating or the crowd right on top of you. Honestly, NHL home ice has been virtually meaningless the last 10 years. I bet if you look at the playoffs, home and road is 500 a split. So I don't know why it's happening. Uh, it's obviously still early, really small sample size. Winnipeg is kind of a sleeper. Um, you know, they've forever had the whiteout, and yet the NHL wears the dark at home. So that's really weird. I've always been a home white uniform, road dark colors. So that's kind of odd. The Jets are the sleeper team. They could win the Stanley Cup, guys. We don't see them in the States. I'm not sure we carried the Winnipeg Jets on our air, a game on our air all <laughs> season prior to last night. And that was on ESPN2 with a world feed. They've got the players, and they've got the goalie who might be the best goalie in the NHL and Connor Hellebuck. And he gave up six last night and still won. So, but absolutely, people don't know Winnipeg, you know, outside of hockey. The Jets are, could be a force. They play in a tiny barn, maybe 14,000 capacity. They've had some attendance problems there, too. But a long run could really uh, really help this franchise. Oh, good for, I didn't know all that. Good for them. Hell good yeah, for them. Because last yeah. night was a celebration of it all. Go ahead, AJ. Steve, when you look at like teams that have like the roster to make a run and actually win the Stanley Cup, what's kind of the formula? What kind of roster do you need? Big, physical dudes with obviously, I think, we all know you have to have a goalie if you want to win it all. But, like, what's the yep. formula, and who do you think kind of has the best chance uh, moving forward? So, strength down the middle, kind of like in the other sports. You really need two top centers, uh, one highly skilled and one big and physical checking type. Uh, you need a lead defenseman. You need, a, you need a top guy who can run your power play, and then you need the goaltender. And so there are only a handful of teams that really have all those ingredients. Uh, I think the Rangers certainly are one of those teams. Uh, Dallas and Las Vegas, those are two teams. And here's where the NHL's playoff format, it becomes an issue because they're playing these great first round matchups and their rivalries and all that. But like Dallas and Vegas are two cup contenders for sure. They'd be way up on the board and we're going to lose one of them. 
after the first round. So that's an issue. Same sort of deal, Toronto and Boston. You know, you're going to lose a great team. In the old days, when I was a kid, they would play one versus 16, which really values the regular season, which is a real positive, right? The best team plays the worst team. And then you could get two teams in the same division in the Stanley Cup final even. But now that really can't happen anymore. Um, but because the division plays enhanced, you play teams in your own division more in the regular season, so it's not a balanced schedule. Something's got to give. But that Vegas-Dallas, those are two Stanley Cup contenders, and one's going home in the first round. Oh, no, Texas hockey. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. First in the West, brother. We gave uh, Gary let uh, Vegas rest a few more nights, too, so we start on Monday. It's great. Oh, wait until you see <laughs> the salary cap moves we're making, pal. Yeah, they get everyone's healthy now. They can play tonight. Oh, uh, that's because that Golden Knight's undefeated on the ice beforehand. Ain't that right, Todd? That's exactly right. One loss. What? I don't know. He got dropped at center ice. Hey, did the Golden Knight ever lose? He never lost, right? No, no, he did. I did the game. I did oh, the game. No. I was there. The oh, ceremony no. It's over. Yes. It's he over. wiped out on ESPN. You know the odds oh. on us having that game, and that was the one, yeah. Oh, my God. I haven't said it in a while, but it sounds like it's Joe Bover for the Golden Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew he was a front runner. <laughs> How did he lose? About? Wow. What do you mean? How many has he won? You're not. You're just going to think about the one loss that this guy had? No, that's his whole gimmick is like, hey, this guy never loses, and he – Ate shit on the ice on a nationally televised game. Well, yeah. it was a slippery ice, dude. What do you expect out of the guy? Oh, yeah, Zamboni. The Washington <laughs> Generals deal, you know? You're going to lose, you know, like never, except he lost. He slipped. I think he blew a tire on the ice. Oh, oh, oh. lost an edge. Guy lost yeah. an edge. That must be haunting that guy. Oh, every night. To his Sniper. core. He's, yeah. he's in there uh-huh. sharpening his skates every second. Did you hear what uh, Ryan said? I think we got a couple skate sharpeners yeah. from them, and that's it. Maybe he's, a washing machine. Just the, that's what I was going to ask. Did we get a washing machine in the deal, or what do we have popping off? Uh, Ty is oh, in Phoenix. Yeah. On that note, about the Golden Knight, go ahead, Ty. Yeah, Steve, speaking of the Golden Knights, uh, do we know, like, guys like Stoner, are they? set to play in this series and realistically I mean I know they were three and0 against Dallas in the regular season but what what would you say their odds are to actually repeat this year I don't like it now man because even if they get through this first round they're gonna be beaten and bruised this is a war this is seven games I was talking a mess about this the other day and you know who knows better than him the first round is just is just treacherous and if you want to win the Stanley Cup you you sort of got to get that first round in five, maybe six max. Very few teams. I think the Kings uh, in the early 2000s there, 2013 maybe, they went seven games all four rounds. That ver- almost never happened. So, uh, But, yeah, Stone has been cleared. Full contact. Miracle. <laughs> Hurdles back. He's scoring goals. Uh, wow. So Vegas, Vegas will be a tough out. But, again, the, the draw is terrible. Really, for both of those teams, Vegas and Dallas. Oh, Texas hockey. Sorry about it. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> 112 of our last 14. We're on fire right now, boys. Oh, it's mm-hmm. playoff You're going to have to beat Vegas season. at some point, aren't you? Oh, you guys are going to try to lift Lordo. You got to be the best. You got to beat the best. You know how it goes. Oh, to be the man, you got to beat the man. There yeah. it is. Well, I wanna... picked Dallas. I got I got Dallas. I got Dallas coming out and winning the West. That Steve. was my pick. Well, that's because Steve. Steve saw the Golden Knight Steve. right in front of him. Yeah. He knows the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that's because he saw, he saw it. He knew exactly what was going to take place. Tone's got a question for you, Steve. Yeah, see, if you talk about uh, Dallas and Vegas and that being that kind of matchup in the West, the game yesterday I watched between the Panthers and Lightning, that series kind of felt like the same. And the Panthers had that incredible run, you know, three quarters away through the season. And, and then they kind of, you know, kind of let the gas off the or took their foot off the gas. Sorry, excuse me. Towards the end of the season. Can the Panthers make a, a run back to the uh, final? Absolutely. Uh, for a long time, they were the best team in hockey during this regular season. You talked about that. I think their run last year uh, really helps them, the experience of going through it. And you remember at the end, like, Kachuk had a broken clavicle. He's trying to play through it. These guys are – they're warriors. They're monsters. And, you know, he could barely do anything. And so uh, a healthy Kachuk, if he can get through this, uh, is really good. So this is – to me, this is the sleeper series kind of thing. Like, you know, it's not the big market, right? Nobody really wants to go to Sunrise, Florida. And, and there's probably some – you know, overkill from Tampa because they've been in it every year and people might be tired of the lightning, but this is a war on ice. These two teams really hate each other. And of all the series, this was probably my favorite series going in. And uh, I'm hoping to see one or two of these games in person. This is this is a war. Tampa's tested tough. They've got the veterans. 
They've got the guys who've been through it in Florida. You know, last year they're the they're the eighth seed, right? That's the other thing about the NHL, right? In the NBA, your eight seeds not getting to the NBA finals just never happens. And in hockey, Florida got in on like the last day, knocked out the Bruins who had the best regular season in history. Okay. And made it to the Stanley Cup final. Yeah, speaking of that, we got the pasta jersey still hanging in the rafters yeah. of the Thunderdome to celebrate the greatest regular season in the history of yes. the NHL. Way to go. Yeah. Greatest Where, regular boy. season ever. Right. That matters. Look at it. We're hanging a jersey. We're hanging a jersey, a sweater, a tarp. We're hanging it to re- remember that forever. They looked good against Toronto to start this whole thing. A lot of teams did. They had an interesting decision to make, too, right? In goal. In hockey, you win a game, a playoff game, you never change your goalie. And there's real talk they're going to change their Can't goalie because it. that's how they've been successful. Swayman Steve, standing on his head. You want to win, put Swayman in. We know what to do. Steve, they can't do that, right? Like If, if you're looking at it just from, from the outside as someone who's not a fan or anything, you got to ride the hot <laughs> hand. And, you know, this kind of happened that's traditionally, last year. That's traditionally the way in a traditional sport. So last year, I saw you hung Pasta's jersey there. They prefer the banner than the 88 up there, but – Amen, They brother. have that great regular season by alternating goalies. They don't alternate. They try to ride the hot hand with Omar, who won the Vezina, and they flamed out in the first round. So is Jim Montgomery going to make that same mistake? The Bruins formula has been very carefully created here, and their formula says they go Omar and get away from – go away from Swayman and stay with the alternating system. Oh. I'm not sure what he's going to do, but to me that's the biggest question right now tonight – in the Stanley Cup playoffs. That'll be fascinating. Yeah, it will be fascinating. Also, Biz, Boston Connor, uh-huh. 10 public push-ups mm-hmm. That's right. on the line. Those could be tough to have to pull off in the middle of a TV seg. Yeah. Got to do two push-ups here, two push-ups there. Then we see Patty Maroon start tossing bodies around. We're like, wait a minute. Yeah. This is a different Boston Bruins than it was last year. I know this is a different Toronto Maple Leafs, but last year, what were the Bruins up? Uh, they were up 3-1. After game uh, uh, four, so and actually game game five, it was it was uh, tied, and Marchand had a breakaway right before. Yes, he did right before yep. the end of regulation, and it got stuffed, and then they won in overtime, and it was three two. And then instead of switching, and then what happens going into game six? Instead of switching goalies, they try to do Olmark one more time. Olmark never played six games in a row during the regular season. That was his sixth game in a row. We lose game six in Florida. Game oh, seven, Swayman three, starts. Three, now. Oh, no. three three. Game seven, we go Swayman. His first game is game seven. Oh. We lose in overtime. Oh no! And you guys, greatest, saying, greatest regular season saying. of all time. Who cares? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like it, you know it's similar to having the greatest player of all time and not being in the playoffs, like the Penguins. Oh my that god! Was, that was uncalled. Kind of the same There's thing. no reason. Kind of the same thing. Yeah, you just kind of connected the dots. Well, he brought it up already. Okay, so we've been taking well, enough shots at a team that isn't in the playoffs. We get it. Okay, it might be over. We get it. But not much. Yarmy Yager's still scoring goals. He was in the building. Why can't we put him on the ice? Uh-huh. I don't know. Maybe it's a. This Fenway Sports Group, Steve, I hate them. Yeah. I don't yeah. like them. Pat, that was that's one of Sid's best seasons ever. I don't care. Sid just had one of the best seasons of his personal career. We know. All-time, all-time guy. Get him out of there, Steve. Someone need to save him or else he's going to die in Pittsburgh. <laughs> no one's going to give a shit about his last couple best years.